Hey folks, Rob Nestor here. Uh, we're here at our workshop uh, where we build a lot of our calls and we spend a lot of time here. I'm here with my cameraman Pete Plasmere and the creator of the Buck Barn, Ron Reddington. We came up with this Buck Barn call. It's a glass call, double glass call. It's a little smaller. It also has a sound chamber in it. Um, you can tune it down. Uh, I'll show you that now in the back there. We're, we're really excited about this. You guys for YouTube, thanks for joining us too. Um, we're really excited. Uh, you can close this, close these holes up like that, and it just makes it a little quieter. Or you can just open it wide open, and it's it's really loud. Again, it, it uh, it's wet or dry. If it starts raining, you break out this aluminum call, aluminum striker. You can see that it sounds great. You can you can do a lot of. A lot of different things with that. On a nice day, you can well, you can still use that dry. You can use a, the wooden striker if it's dry out. I mean, that's. Uh, we also have another call here um, with our Sportsman's Choice logo on it, Rob Nestor Signature Series. Um, these are great calls. We're really excited about trying them out. Our, the Jersey season starts in a few days for us, and then uh, a week later, the PA. So we're going to try to knock down a couple gobblers for you and put it on video, and you can, you can watch them. So, again, go to the Buck Barn. Uh, they're already out there for sale. Buy a couple. Buy some for your friends, and uh, we'll see you in the spring woods. Pete. Check oh, it man. out. Oh, man. 541. Oh, look at this thick beard, man. He came right to us, folks. Early, that's how we like it. He smashed a decoy. Do you guys see that? That was just awesome. I can't believe he did that. Oh, man. He's got a nice, long, thick beard. Probably four or five year old. I mean, he's thick. We hunted him last year. Nice spurs. He, he's got an open, a, open a bird up, bro. It, Inch and a quarter spurs. Show them that fan. Oh, what's up? What? 
Real nice, real nice bird. I'm proud of him. Oh, you know, folks, you guys that are on, uh, on YouTube, welcome. We got this thing called the Buck Barn. You guys like deer hunting, turkey hunting? Of course, we're turkey hunting here in Pennsylvania. Any waterfowls? Geese, ducks? I got this call. I, I didn't have to use it much this morning, but I did some yelps on it. Some white purrs. He was in his roost. He heard me and gobbled. He flew right down and came right to us. It, it started here. It's it's going down to Maryland, Virginia. I mean, just just get on it. It's an awesome sight. As I said, you can order this call. It's a great call. We call it in hens, a lot of hens. And that's really what you want. You got live decoys. Once some hens come in and start yelping themselves, those gobblers just get fired up. You can't resist, man. Again, just go on the buckbarn.com. Awesome site. Help us put it on the map. Hey folks, we're here setting up the setting up the bird for the hero shot. My son Sean knocked this bird big, yeah, knocked this big bird down this morning. It was awesome. I mean, I was using this the buck barn water call, this friction call. It works great. It's hundred percent waterproof. I mean, you can visit us on buckbarn.com. I mean, advertisers welcome. Uh, it was just such an awesome hunt. We're going to take you from Virginia to New Jersey. Um, we even have two hunts you can check out that me and Sean shot last year. The same spot. It was, it's an awesome spot. Uh, check out them two hunts. Remember, the buckbarn.com. And thank you, Ron Reddington, for making these calls. I mean, these things are just awesome. Three weeks later, we returned to the same location in beautiful Sullivan County, PA. Today, Rob's guiding his 16-year-old stepson, Sean Doherty. He sets up his team of decoys. Our positioning is perfect. We're on the flats with hard gobbling, strutting toms on both sides of the nearby ridge. Sean hopes to anchor his first eastern longbeard. Sean Docker, he's in the house, baby. Got him. Hey, Dara. Oh. Man. Totally forgot I had Sam I. Sean. Like a two year old. Sean, sit closer to him. Take your mask off, guys. Oh. Unbelievable. That was awesome. Yeah. The introduction, right? 
kicking. Yeah. Double, in... double team effort, fellas. Yeah. Father and son right there, folks. Two hours later, after repositioning, Rob gets in a good conversation with yet another serious heavyweight. Will Sean have a date with Destiny? Beautiful. Oh, we got our double. Oh, dude. Wasn't well, at the same time. We readjusted. Kneel down, Rob. Kneel down. Oh, man. Oh, Fan him out. Fan him out. Oh, I got the beard. Nice beard. Oh, he's got some nice white hooks. Look at these hooks. Oh, Good inch. God. Good three year old. You get a two, I get a three. <laughs> That's a big fan there. Beautiful. Is that close enough for you, Pete? Good man. I had to tell him the studio's getting nervous. He was nothing for him to see. I did some quick yelp just to get him to stretch his head for you. Oh. See what happens when you put it lower? Yeah. Oh, that was sweet. What time is it? What time is it? I'm gonna guess around it. Almost eight o'clock, I'm guessing. 7.50. Awesome. Almost two hours later. Oh, man. Hung out. What'd I tell you? <laughs> you the man, the myth, oh. the legend. Sean Doherty, Rob Nestor. Oh, man. That was better than Mississippi. I'm proud of you, buddy. Uh, hey, folks. This is a proud moment for me. My son Sean's first long beard, Pennsylvania long beard. And we're going to get the tagging. Let's see. Well, Brought a scale with me. I've always wanted to do this. See it on videos all the time. Mine, this is the first one we got. Nine and a half inch beard. Nine and a half inch beard and weighing in, some young eyes. Weighing in about, about 21 pounds. 21 pounds. Nice. That's a nice gobbler. Nice. That will weigh, that will weigh uh, Sean's. Hey, now we're at Sean's bird. What's the, the beard was, Sean? 10 inches. 10 inches almost right on the money. And he weighs. About 21 pounds, four ounces. Nice, nice, awesome. Folks, that was an awesome way to finish the year. You saw our hen footage. I had both my sons, RJ and Sean, out youth day, and the hens just came in, but the gobbles were all henned up. It didn't work. But we're here three weeks later, and we get a double. I back him up on the first one, get mine, and then two hours later, Sean gets his. Just, I can't ask for anything better. It's awesome. Hey, guys. If you need a nice game call, go to the back of our our uh, video and get on our website. And I'm telling you, they work. We wouldn't have these two if it wasn't for that. <laughs> this way. Okay. 